Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlock here, and we're off for more Pikmin 2 in the last episode. We went into the Awakening Wood, found a treasure above ground, and completed the whole beast. Well, I guess that covered two episodes, really, because I had to split it into two, because we pretty much got the one above ground, and then we entered the whole beast for the second part. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit confusing. <laughs> so, I don't know, I guess I'll just have to roll with that crap intro, but anyway... In this episode, we actually want to go back into the Awakening Wood because we can't, well, Forest of Hope, I guess, if you really want to call it that, but of course it's different. But we can't go back into the Valley of Repose because we haven't got any blues as well, you know, and we're working on trying to get to them. So, with our new, with our Pikmin once again, we need to go get ourselves some Fighting Force. So, we've got, uh, I'm still going to take out only 10 purples because they're. We do not have them in plentiful quantity, so what I'm going to do here is take out about... Uh, let's say about 75 for Olimar here, so 65 reds for Olimar. And he's going to have all the purples to do his dirty work. And then we're going to go to Louis and grab 25 for him. This is an easier way of sorting out your team, but it does take longer, technically. And we've got some leaves on this team, so that's the first order of business to nectify these two. Nectify? <laughs> I'm making new words! I wonder if it's actually proper lingo. Anyway, we've already got flowers working on that at the moment, so while that's going on, we'll take these guys and kill these guys. We won't pick them up though, we'll let Louie do all that work. But they were in the way, so... Oh no! These guys! Okay, these grubs want to destroy these plants. It's annoying. So what you want to do is kill them as quickly as possible before they start eating those bug, those berries, because otherwise you're, they're going to affect you killing them. And I believe they do revive after a certain amount of time, so you do want to kill them. And then take them, because as you can see, even though we've killed them, it's still squirming. Yuck. Oh, I see you, buddy. Switch. Okay, pound him! Get him! I can't not hit him! I'm missing every shot because I'm not aiming properly. There we go. Okay, swarm. Okay, we got him. But we're not dealing with the berries right now. Just want to get rid of that thing. Okay. Louis, grab those. I want to carry that thing back. Alright. Okay, so now that grub is being taken away, what we want Louis to do is to pretty much just grind up on more reds here, because that's all we can do at the moment, so we might as well just keep on doing it while we're around the area, I guess. And of course, we want to try and gain as many potions as possible. That's why I normally have Louis doing, or the other captain, if it ends up being the other way around for whatever reason. I just like to keep on grinding potions whenever possible and have the other team going off. We've already wasted an eighth of the day, good lord. And as you can see, our radar's already spazzing out because we've got stuff to grab. Sadly, I think we've got an item. There we go! There's a bottle cap right up there, but we can't get it right now because we don't have yellows. Because if you look at our map right here, this is actually um, right behind... It's actually in the same place where the yellow pellet was. The big 20 yellow pellet was in Pikmin 1. And that whole beast is like, well... Um, it's where the bolt was, I think it was. I mean, that little alcove right there in the middle of the map right now, well, I'm highlighting, is... Um, where we got the radar in Pikmin, Pikmin 1. But this has all changed. That's not cool. And that's actually a very annoying area. So, But we can't deal with that right now anyway because we don't have blues and the blues are still chilling over there. We're still working our way towards them but I don't think we're going to be getting there anytime soon. Because if you look over here, there's an electrical fence that's blocking our way. And if our Pikmin touch that, they immediately die. Yes, electricity is one shot in this game. I don't know I have enough Pikmin, do I? I need more purples. Don't say I need more purples. This could be bad. I need more purples, don't I? Let's do calculating. Yeah, well, let's do calculating. We'll grab one. Now, don't just let the berries sit there, you idiots. Pick it up. Pick them up. It, some of them are probably already gone because splats or whatever. Okay. Yep, it's finished calculating. We need more bloody. I don't like getting bloody purples out. Like I said, they're, they're not... If you lose them, it's really hard to recover. So, that was wrong. I'm going to have to put... You know what, just put back what I have left in my squad right now. We'll just flower them later. And oh, Wait, I've got to wait for them to go in. God's sake! I can't do anything! I've messed this up like a scrub. 
Okay. No! Mm. Scout the purples. Just take them all out for now. God, this is wasted time. This is wasting time. I don't like it. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, meh. Want that berry. Okay, let's fix this up because I'm a twat. Let's chuck all of Olam and uh, Louis over here. Okay, now that we've flattened it, let's call our Pikmin back over here. Our little squadron here. Okay, these guys can do what we need to do. These guys have got to do their own thing. Was that the music changing? Yeah, I think it was because I heard about a nice echoey ting there, but that was part of the music. Alright. No, that's wrong. I need to put my purples back that I have here. Yeah, put all them back, because I don't want them out. Go in. That was delayed as hell. Oh, wait, I've got to wait for those guys to go in as well. Shit. I like how they go through the exhaust pipe. You'd think that would be bad for them, but then again, carbon dioxide is kind of like a good thing for Pikmin. Well, plants in general. Photosynthesis. Oh, eh. No, no, chuck it. No. Alright, grow my pretties, grow! I think I have a couple of leaves still working on the berries, but... Oh well. Alright, you know what? We're wasting time. Let's actually make some progress here. Like I said, I, I love this game more, but I'm not an expert on it. I'm more of an expert on Pikmin 1, because it's that kind of game where you're... It's just more well-known, I guess? Uh, I'll just, just take it. Because we can't do anything else once again. As you can see, we're already at a dead end here. We can't go any further because that's poison. Just like what happened on the other hole, we only needed to go into the other hole in order to get more purples, but we need to go in there anyway for the two for hundred percent purposes. Outstanding, my metal detectors are re reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press plus to contact me and press right on the radar screen. The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you, Louis, and the Pikmin to safety. So basically, if we have both captains down, or if we get Pikmin extinction underground, all the treasure that we've collected up to that point will be jettisoned back into the level, so we'll have to enter and grab it all again. And not only that, we won't get our Pikmin back because they died, of course, and the day will immediately end being brought out, which really does suck, so... Yeah, that's one of the drawbacks of being in a cave. But then again, every time you go into a level, or a sub-level, basically a floor of the cave, the game's auto-saves. So, that's not that big of an issue, you could just hit the reset. So, if you do get a Pikmin... If you do get, um, if you do get downed... Or double downed, you might as well just reset the game. So, it's just easier that way. So really, that has no relevance, but he's telling you just in case. Because you'll be like, oh, well I lost, I can just continue. But no. So basically, we can't do anything else over there for now. That's what I'm trying to get towards. So it's like, what do we do? Well, we can leave that for the end of the day. Let's see what else we can do first. Because if we do that now, and then we come out, what else can we possibly do? I mean, maybe if we were quick enough, we could have got both of them done in one day. But I've never actually done that. Because as you can see here, we can't do that either because that's coming in poison. So yeah, the only way we can really go is just back to base, really. Oh, there's a berry there! Shit! Come on, guys! Get the berry! Get the berry! Okay, good. Oof. That was very... That was worrisome. Okay. So just split our forces off here. Louie. I don't know what to do, really, at this point. Yeah, this is like one of those lackluster days where I'm just trying to figure out stuff to do, because it's like, I am never fast enough to do what I want to do. Like I said, there is a treasure up here, and as we go near this pot, the sensor goes haywire. So that's a thing. We already got the treasure on top of this ledge, which was the uh, strawberry. So that's a thing. Oh! Hit these guys! Hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them! Get that last one! Come on! Come on! Get the last one! Get the last one! He's gone. He's gone. Oh, God damn it. But as you can see there, we got tons of nectar in case we need it. So that's cool. We're getting more Pikmin as it goes. Okay, they've all picked up the... Okay, so I'm going to have Olima just camp here for now, then. And Louie can just continue exploring the area that we're in. So as you can see here, we can't go over here once again, because even though there's a bridge, that's actually behind the poison wall. And this is like a shortcut to get back. If we had blues, we could go over and do that, but we can't get blues because we need to, to resist electricity, and we haven't got Pikmin that do that. We can't get knocked down the poison walls, because our Pikmin will just get poisoned and run around like idiots, because they're freaking out about the poison that's infecting their bulbs, or plants on their head, whatever. 
So yeah, there is really, literally nothing we can do in this day. It really does sadden me. Oh, give me a potion. Oh, shit! I fell! I fell! Le no! Olimar's too far away! Crap! No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, wow. They're really running for the hills, literally. That's disappointing. I could have got so much from that, and I got nothing. I got nothing. That would have been so good. Those honey wisps, yo. Wait. Did I, I just lost a Pikmin! I just lost a Pikmin! Wait a minute. It didn't just run into the water and commit suicide, did it? I think that's what happened. That was so... Was that purple as well? Shit. Oh, no, man, get back here. Wait, I'm missing a Pikmin. Crap! What's going on here? You're all the way in the corner there. Okay. I hope that wasn't a purple I just lost. I'll be so pissed if it was a purple. Good, it wasn't a purple. Whew! I've still got 25 purples in total. 15 plus 10 is 25. I'm good. Because that's what we had. At least it was a red. At least it was a red. That's what I can be thankful for. Okay, so there is literally nothing we can do here except for build up berries. You know what? I'm going to keep doing that. Let's go for one more round and then we'll go into the hole. I know we haven't done a lot over surface, but there is literally nothing else we can do on the surface. Can't get that treasure. It's too high. We can't get the, yellow, the blues because we need something that resists electricity. Because otherwise all the pink men are just going to run into it and commit suicide. Immediate, immediate death. I'm not kidding. In Pikmin 3, it is an immediate death, so that's cool. But... But in this game, yeah, it's immediate death. It's all cool, so. <clears throat> but anyway, we're going to have a full squadron here. I'm going to have to pick up one Pikmin out of this. Well, at least we got Nectar to save us, so we, this one leaf can actually get powered up here. So let's do that quickly. I mean, we've got plenty. It's going to drink one puddle of Nectar, but by the time we come back, it will be all gone anyway, so it doesn't matter. We've got plenty of it. It was just something to do. So, okay, all of us should be le- Oh, no, I still got a leaf! What the balls? Ugh. So, yeah, the, the problem is I can't even grow a lot of Pikmin in this area. There's literally no pellets to grab. We killed all the enemies in the last episode- uh, in two episodes ago. You know what I mean. In the last day. So they haven't respawned. And we're already three quarters for the day! It was half a second ago. What the hell? I swear there's like a dot missing over here. The day is way shorter than it should be. But yeah, like I said, we can't go up there. Because we need waters to get through this water hole. I mean, we could kill that enemy, but what's the point? We can't do anything up there. So we definitely got to go through this hole. There's no other thing, no, no other thing that we can do. However! New hazard. Highlighted. Poison. So we're going to have to watch out for that. I mean, we've already got the hazard out here, but that's optional. We don't have to worry about that. So, maybe we'll get a Pikmin that resists poison in here. Foreshadowing. And because, well, I didn't really do much during the day, and it was only 30 minutes out of the 15 that we had in the day, we can just immediately start on this cave in this episode, so that's pretty cool. I'm sorry it was lacklustre, but that just happens sometimes. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Okay. So, pick up all of these... I don't think I want my purples doing anything, like I said, but I'll say it again and again. You do not want to lose your purples, especially near the end of the game. I'm not kidding. You do need to build up your purples as much as possible, and I have lost a lot of purples before. So let's just go in with all our reds, because that's the best army. If I need to save my purples quickly, I can just move about like that. Wait. Oh yeah, I have only two purples. Okay. I thought I had all 25 for a second. That would be stupid. Right, so... Ah! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Go stupid! Well, actually, no, don't go stupid. That's very annoying. That, the reason why I say that is because, as you can see on this, uh... Well, I say cave, or like on a drain pipe. There are no invisible walls here! If you chuck a pigment off the side, it will die! It is counted as a death. But here, we've got some skippy dip here. I think it's... Peanut butter or something. I don't like peanut butter. Peanut butter is disgusting. I don't like peanuts, so if I don't like peanuts, I don't like peanut butter. That's how it works. I have a feeling. Nothing? Oh, okay. No, none of those bugs that pop out from Twilight Princess. None of those, um, no eggs or meteors. Okay then. Well, I guess that was the only treasure on this floor. 
that was easy. Do 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 do. Name? Nu nutrient silo. Don't get how that is thing, but it's creamy. And watch the watch the thing. And that's how you know that it deactivates. Like the first part always goes off, even if you don't have the radar, as, we, as I've already pointed out in the in before we had it. But as you can see, it now actually shines and powers off completely now that we have it. But like I said, if you haven't got it, that tone pretty much allows you to know that you've got everything. So let's just delve deeper with our Pikmin. Like I said, I only went with my I only selected to go in with my reds, but Olimar with his purples join you. So even if there are three Pikmin just lying about, and you haven't whistled them with any of your captains, they'll still follow you. Only if you're already in a... Well, if you're already in the cave. So. Let's grab all of our Pikmin here. Split them off so that's a lot neater. Let's have Louie grab the purples this time. I feel like I actually need the purple. No, I do not need the purples because we've got fiery blowhogs. But I do know what Louie can do. They can pick up this right now. Best thing is that you can actually switch after your pick. Oh god, that's stupid! Because they can launch a pigment off, and that is a bad idea. So what I'm gonna do is play this safe because we've got infinite time. Chuck a few pigmen on, call them back before they get launched, chuck a few on, and we get into a cutscene. Do 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 the game loves me, it's a heart container from Twilight Princess. Nah, it's not really. It's a it's a I like the name, Petrified Heart, because it's a stone heart and petrification is normally associated with stone. So yeah. And apparently this jewel has the same worth as a bottle cap. Wrap your head around that. Okay, call him back, because I think that was a bad play. Oh god! Did I lose any? Did I lose any? Did I lose any? No, I didn't. Okay, I was waiting for the number to see if it... I was waiting for the number to fall to see if that was actually a thing, but thank God it didn't. Oh yeah, and this is evil. Look at the middle bit here. It slopes down. Look, these little bits here slope down, so even if it looks like you could save your pigment, they'll just drop. It's a big tease, and I hate it. I know it's the design of the level, but at the same time, it's a real big tease. I think this is like one of the uh, more devastating caves early on in the game, even though it seems easy, because it's like, oh, reds can't get killed by these guys, so that's a thing. Actually, that's fine, because they're just going to get launched over there, so let's just keep chucking them. Because if you swarm, the, the, the blowhole could actually turn, and we don't want that, so that's kind of a thing. There's another bottle cap over there. I feel like it's going to be rigged. No? Okay, so we got that. And... I think that's it on this floor. Of course, if you want to pick up items that are in here, you have to chuck them in a little thing here, but... Unlike on that side, you don't have to do that. So yeah, we're just walking on drain pipes. It's kind of weird. It's actually kind of weird on how like, you've got like mound of holes like this, but whatever. And I like how the, the background here is just like a spherical image. It's kind of cool. Parallax backgrounds. That's what it's called an object make a big exit, right? Anyway, next treasure is... Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba, Dr. Pepper! Yes! An old classic Dr. Pepper, mind you. Not the new one that we normally have. Drought Ender. And like I said, that petrified heart has the same value as a bottle cap. I don't get it. But yeah, we got another bottle cap for our collection. It's awesome. And it's Dr. Pepper. Who does not like Dr. Pepper? Oh yeah, remember that news article? That, uh, uh, that was on TV, like, I don't know, months ago or something? Maybe it was even years ago, I'm not too sure. There was this old lady who's like lost all of her friends because you know she's like over a hundred years old and yet she still looks about 80. And her secret to life is actually drinking three cans of Dr. Pepper a day. I mean what? I guess it is the doctor's drink. <laughs> it's the it's the doctor's elixir. So wrap your hand around that. I'm saying that a lot in this video. I don't know why. Well, I feel like I am. I'm not too sure if I actually am. White Flower Garden. I haven't actually got into the name of this place yet. That's significant. It's actually kind of foreshadowing, so... I think this is the final floor, isn't it? No, it isn't. I was wrong about that. Oh, God, no, it's this floor. Oh, no, 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 no! This should be a safe floor. This should be a safe floor. Okay, I might as well split up my Pikmin anyway, because I don't want to chuck my purples in. What? Why have, did a red continue to follow me? And why is it going in... What the hell?! Okay! It just decided to do a dance. Okay, whatever. 
I don't know. That was strange. Just like that sliding Jeff. Now, what am I doing? That's stupid. I said I don't want to chop my purples in because that means I'm dwindling my numbers unnecessarily. Chucking my reds because they're replenishable. I keep saying that. I'm going to say that a lot. Reds are probably the pick when you're going to be converting the most with candy pot buds. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. And yet you keep saying it's warm underground. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it add to a kind of hot house for foliage? What an interesting development. The Pikmin look as if they long to be thrown into the flower, just like the purple candy pop buds. So let's do just that. If I could move, that was weird. Can't move my pointer sometimes, it gets stuck. There's nothing in the way. And if we go over here beforehand, the radar is going nuts down here, and the exit's all the way over here as well. But if you notice that we're actually walking right over it, we can't dig it up. Even our Pikmin, when we try to order them around, didn't really do that. Don't want to try and dig it up, because like I said, with the one in the pot, on the overworld... Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Thank you. Basically, the one on the overworld, like I said, in that pot near the... Well, pretty much next to base, we can't get because it's completely underground. Unlike the battery, which was like half underground. We could dig that one up, but the ones that are completely underground, we can't. But, however, the Pikmin that we're about to get... Obviously, it's no surprise that they're going to be white Pikmin, because of the white, I mean... It's a no-brainer. They can dig underground, and not only that, they also come with another perk. But they also have a few disadvantages, and it's actually a very big one. Well, at least I got them all done at once. Okay, Olimers, you need to come over here now, because we need twice the pluckage. Eh. I say Olimar, and yet I was playing as Olimar, I needed to call Louie. Look at this thing, it's creepy but adorable. It's creep adorable. And it just burped poison smoke. <laughs> Incredible, a white pitman it is. Tiny, but it looks distinctively swift. Its eyes are unseemly red. This type of pigment was not mentioned in your notes, Olimar. This must be an entirely new type. Our data record on this type is a blank page, since a certain captain never documented it. Excuse you! I never recorded this, because we never encountered them. So, shut your electronical mouth, good sir. Don't give me, don't give, don't give me burn. <laughs> don't give me burn. You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of future generations. <coughs> Pikmin free. <coughs> anyway. Yes, we got white Pikmin here. And yes, with their red eyes, they are able to have x-ray vision. Therefore, they are able to actually see items underground and therefore they're able to dig. And once they start digging, other Pikmin can join them. Not only that, as you saw, they burped out poisonous smoke. If a Pikmin, if a white Pikmin gets eaten, they kamikaze and pretty much poison an enemy. So if, a, if an enemy eats a white Pikmin, they poison the enemy for massive damage. So it's a nice trade-off if they actually get killed by digestion, I guess. Not only that, but they're also very fast, as the ship has already mentioned, as you can see here, they're already digging. And if that ain't best enough, not only are they the fastest Pikmin, they are truly lightning speed when they are flowers. Problem! They're so tiny, they have no pa offensive power. That's the worst thing about it. Amazing, the white Pikmin have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps those beady red eyes of theirs allow them to send subjects buried in the dirt. As I just said. But yeah, they're crap in battle. You don't want to use them in battle, even if they will uh, kamikaze the opponent. Well, I say kamikaze, it's like poisoning them. You know what I mean, I've already said it about twice already. So, wait, did another bloody honey wisp appear? Climb! Louis, you're in the way. Yes, another one did appear. I'm gonna... Well then! <laughs> I will completely ignore that honey wisp. And I've got five potions, Holy crap, how close am I to another potion? Oh, okay, halfway pretty much. So I'm just going to cut until they reach the um, research pod, because we're, we're just going to be sitting here at this point. Save a bit of time, because then I can get the whole day done in one. Oh, never mind, as soon as I say that... <coughs> wow, they were quick because of the uh, whites. Yeah, if you really want to transfer, if you want to transfer items very quickly, whites are actually pretty good. They have the same strength as a normal one Pikmin, so that's not affected, but in battle they are the weakest. Super stick te textile. Yeah, it's just masking tape. 
Nothing too dramatic. Gamma tape, as it says. Alright, and... There we go, we got everything in this place. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, no, we got more to do. Oh damn, I didn't realise. Well, <laughs> for some reason I thought there was a geyser. Duh, there's no water. Why do I think that was the final floor? This is probably the final floor. I think we're going to have a 30 minute episode, guys, if this is the final floor. If not, then I'm going to... Yep, okay, you know what, I'm going to split this into two. Okay, so in the next episode, guys, we're going to go and finish off this hole. I thought we could have finished this all in one day, but nope. So in the next episode, guys, we'll finish off this day number four right here with our newly acquired uh, whites. We've actually got more whites with us than purples at this point, which is not good, but hey, it's our first amount of whites and we get more at once than we did purples. So that's cool. But yeah, in the next episode, guys, we will get out of this place and grab all the rest of the treasure. See you guys then. <laughs>